Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thali Bakada. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Supreme Court prevents Deshabandhu from functioning as IJP. An order is issued to call up the armed forces throughout the country. Gasset of increasing wages of plantation workers is void. Two more suspects arrested in Club Vasanthar's murder. Two injured in Beliatha after two cars collide. At least 18 killed in Nepal plane crash, pilot only survivor in fatal accident. The Supreme Court today issued an interim order restraining Deshabandhu Tenakon from functioning as the Inspector General of Police. The order will be effective until the final determination of nine fundamental rights applications filed challenging his appointment as IGP. The court further granted leave to proceed with these petitions. Deputy Speaker Ajit Rajapaksa announced in Parliament today that the President has issued a directive to deploy the armed forces nationwide to ensure public security. Gasset notification signed by the Secretary of the Ministry of Labour and Foreign Employment, which set the daily minimum wage for tea and rubber plantation workers at 1,700 rupees, has been cancelled. Two suspects involved in the shooting of Club Vasantha have been apprehended. According to the police, officers from the Western Province Southern Crime Division made the arrest. A car collision in Beliatha early this morning left two passengers and the driver injured. All three individuals were admitted to Thangala Hospital for treatment. The Beliatha police have launched an investigation into the incident. At least 18 people were killed after a plane crashed and caught fire while it was taking off from Nepal's capital of Kathmandu on Wednesday. The pilot, who is currently receiving treatment in hospital, is the only survivor of the fatal accident. 19 people were on the Saurya Airlines test flight, including technical staff and members of the airline and two crew members. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You are with me, Thaliba Khader. For more information, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk.